you've turned on to rock around. It's time for the patrons to be able to have their thing this week. Yeah, a little dicky. Yeah, Molly. Molly. Right. Featuring Brendan Yuri, who is the lead singer of Panic at the Disco. Now, self-admittedly, I'm not very familiar with them, but I know a few of their songs. You don't know not anything? Re- not really, no. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I know little. I, I do know some Lil Dicky, but it's funny that he's on here because I, I, I kind of thought about showing you the one freestyle he did on, um, I think it was Sway. Oh, really? It's, it's pretty funny, but okay. apparently you're saying this is like, like kind of a serious one, which I don't know anything I like think. that from him. So I we'll, I, we'll yeah. find out. But I say we just go ahead and get started, man, because I'm actually very interested then. Yeah, because the only thing that I know about was uh, our buddy Dan Kosas. Hey, bud. <laughs> Yo, hey, what's up, man? Um, so, but uh, no, uh, he showed me one of his videos and it was him sitting with a girl in a bed and they were just talking. I so think I know it, which one you're talking I about. I won't say it for mine station reasons, but he's like, oh, you F with the ball? Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, so like, yeah. Just like, I, I loved his like way that he would say things. You can tell that he was having fun in that video, but it's also been a long time since I've seen it. Um, so I'm hoping this is like refreshing, and if not, that it's entertaining. Yeah, so, you know, it, yeah. It's, it should be. So, yeah. all right, man. Well, let's just get into it. Yeah, let's all do right. it. Welcome back, you music junkies. I'm Eric. I'm the hip hop head. I'm Kyle. I'm the metal head. And we're brothers the reactor shit. So let's do that. Tonight we've got Lil Dicky, Molly, featuring Brendan Yuri. Let's get into it. All right, let's do it. It's like incredibly hot in you know, here. Yeah. How, How you guys doing, sweat? man? Are you, are you sure freaking out? Yeah, I was going to say, are you sure it's just not like the nerves or? It's definitely the nerves. It's, yeah. It's like <laughs> the actual temperature. Shit happening, right? Getting married? Like Did they really <laughs> film this on his wedding day? No. You cool? You, you, you good? Yeah, it's I'm gonna be an happy. intense moment. You know, she, when she walks down the aisle, you see him—he's like fumbling the tie a little bit. <laughs> I actually, think I'm executing it perfectly. So. He's in his head. He's in his head. Are you gonna vomit? Is this gonna happen all day? You guys? Are <laughs> yeah. Is this gonna happen all day? I'm so happy that I have such a supportive group of friends. It's that probably like the biggest day, I would say. Hey, she's, like just, the she's just sexing me. She's getting cold feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. You're like, you're, you're good though. You're not gonna like cry or like, yeah, you get your fucking you. hands on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine, guys. You're so so nice. Nice. Yeah. These are the guys yeah. that you yeah. want yeah. in your wedding party. Yeah. Yeah. Like, dude, yeah. that's, yeah. that's yeah. cool. An insufferable group of people. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. chill out and try to have fun. Right? He's no. freaking out. No, look, it's not, let's be real about the situation. It's not every other day. Can you guys tie your fucking ties, be adults, so we can get there on time and leave, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Man, this is the softest thing I ever did. <laughs> okay. It's about something that's pretty important to me. Okay. And that's you. And that's true. Mm. Really wish that I didn't care about you anymore. But I do. What do I do when Uh-oh. I rap life? Make a motherfucker choose up in that fight. Make a young couple do something sad like being broke up even though we had life. Fuck it, I don't even know what I could have done. Looking back, thinking that's what I should have done. One of you back, but when the fact is, I always put you second to rap. I'm not mad that you wouldn't come. And you- oh my God. Ooh. Up, even though we had life, mm. fuck it, I don't even know what I could have done. Looking back, thinking that's what I should have done. One of you back, but when the fact is, I always put you second to rap. Mm, I'm not wow. mad that you wouldn't yeah. come. And even though I had okay. to move, I ain't move on. Really wish you was a boo, I could prove wrong. But she knows what I'ma do with the new songs. And she know I'm pretty soon when you do it on running the rap game with that lane. Always gotta be up on that train of that plane. Ain't nobody wanna feel that pain of that strain. Wish- <laughs> okay, okay. So what I'm gonna say is this is so what what I know the little bit of little Dicky is that this is kind of what I don't want to say that he always sounds like, but this is still the vibe that I know him with. It's mm-hmm. just usually he's he's a little funnier, right? But it's like he just said, it's the soft softest shit he's probably ever done, right? So this is understandable why it's going this way, but he's still got that little dicky approach with how he's doing this. Okay. And this is really interesting for me. Yeah. I really enjoy the tone of his voice. Like he's able or well, he's able, he is very easy to be able to like hear what he's saying. Yeah. And uh, I enjoy the tone of his voice. Like that's the one thing that really sets apart rappers for me is that it's one of those where it's like, look, dude, like Same. if your voice isn't hitting properly, I'm not going to want to listen to you. Like it's going to be like, all right, like this is kind of like work. Yeah. Like listening to to Little Dicky is not work, and I'm really really happy about that because I didn't know what direction we were gonna go here. Yeah, like, was either. he gonna sing? Was he gonna do like maybe he does do some stuff later on? But Might. yeah, but this is um, I think that knowing enough about him and knowing that it's kind of like he put some effort into this to mm-hmm. not be the normal self. 
th- this is this is interesting. It is. This is pretty cool. All right. Well, let's get back into it. Yeah. I ain't gotta get that fame or rat claim. You know I'd give you my last name, but that blame mm. on me. Chasing something, feeling dumb, cause you all I need. Hope you wait until I'm done and I'm all free. But you know I never know when it's gonna be. And I'm sorry. It's mm. the hardest rule to follow. Yeah. Not getting married. No. I, I, I kind of figured that out earlier. Dude, I got goosebumps right now. This is. That I didn't care about you anymore, but I do. But I do. What do I oh. do in the rap life? Make a motherfucker choose up in that fight. Make a young couple do something sad like being broke up, even though we had life. Had life. Had life. When I'm being dumb and stupid, who the fuck is gonna hit me with the motherfucking jerk face? Who gonna let me know to hit my mother on her birthday? Who gonna let me know when I'll be shopping if a shirt's game when I'm on a road? Oh, hold hold on. on, what? Okay. Oh my god. Had life. Had life. Had he, life. He, I'm sorry. He, he was just, well, yeah, it was just the fact that. He was basically saying, like, all those things, like, who am I going to have to tell me to do these things? Who am I going to have to tell me that shirt doesn't look right? How You know, like, yeah. Mm, who's who, uh, who's going to remind me to call my mom on her birthday is, I think, what he said. Like, it's wow. just, oh, my God. I didn't know I, Lil Dicky had this in him. Dude, this is, like, I'm, it's welling right now. It kind of like, is. This is, this is, dude, Lil Dicky. Good job, do man. Do some more of this, I, I didn't this know is, you had this in you. Yeah, this is good, man. All right, yeah. let's hear that again. Yeah. When I'm being dumb and stupid, who the fuck is gonna hit me with the motherfucking jerk face? Who gonna let me know to hit my mother on her birthday? Who gonna let me know when I'll be shopping if a shirt's game? When I'm on the road, I'll be missing that. Always looking at my phone, you would give me crap. Ever since I've been alone, I've been thinking back, listening to your auto tune and my mic phone, making us laugh. You know the past was a blast, but it never could last. Pretty sad when your love got a separate path. Used to read when there's nothing to do, but it's funny doing nothing's never nothing when it's done with you. You know I wanna still talk, even text and call whenever something going on. I'll be pressing mall up in the phone till I press the X, stress the next one on best the X, and you'll forget what is best. You the best to me, girl. Always bait me something. Mm. And when they ripped off, you replaced my buttons. But don't be pissed off if I hate your husband. Cause even when I can't say <laughs> love ya, I love ya. Oh. Don't be pissed off if I hate you. Even when I can't still love you, I'll love you. Yeah. So. Oh, there he is. Okay. You can find another oh. Logan Paul. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> He's not having it either. Too late, man. And that's you. And that's true. Really wish that I didn't care about you anymore. But I do. What do mm. I do in the rap life? Make a motherfucker choose up in that fight. Make a young couple do something sad like being broke up, even though we had life, had life, had life, had life. It's the hardest rule to follow. Oh man. Nothing says I don't want to be here more than that face. Well, he's not having fun. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, no. What? trying to sneak out of there too yeah just let me do my thing it ain't gotta it ain't gotta bother you <laughs> okay um that so that i I, re- was, I realized very quickly he wasn't i was like okay it's gonna be one of these what what gave it away for you because i didn't catch it until it was blatant. when i forget it was i forget what line it was but it was right when he was walking up and hugging people i'm like he's hugging other family members this isn't his wedding Mm. he's like he's going to Mm. a wedding and then when i all i kept thinking about 
when you when you see her walk down that aisle, and that's why he was acting the way he was. It like I don't know, like it all hit me. What's What's impressive about this was that it it very much felt like it was a groom getting ready it, of like at like first it's dude i love it like it kind of almost has like that birdcage mentality if you've not seen the birdcage what are you doing go see it but stop um, right now but like don't even finish and then go watch there's brilliant dialogue in that movie where like it's so vague in how they're speaking that you think that a certain thing is happening but it's not and it just it does just a beautiful job of like those that didn't catch it like me like it's like oh my god like the impact is just so powerful mm-hmm. like it's just Man, I'm I'm really proud of him that he was able to do something like this. Me too. And it's just, you know, like the hook was great. Brendan did great as always. Like whenever Brendan's a part of your song or anything, he's not gonna be the weak link vocally. Right. So like it's right. just it's it's cool that he did that. And man, I, I think that there's there's a lot that I think that every person in the world can relate to with this. Like it's mm-hmm. just man, like well, it's like him be, being like, nah, I mean, like I just I can't do this, but I still want you." And it's just it's yeah, it's rough, you know. It's like I chose, you know, my career. I chose this over this, and now I get to watch what happens because of the decisions I Correct. made. Like that's a heavy thought, man. And like for somebody like Little Dicky, who is maybe known more for doing comical stuff, like this is like you said, the softest thing he's ever done, and. Man, this was good. Very different side. Like I said, don't know a whole lot of songs by him. Like mm-hmm. maybe five, six, you know, in right. general. But all all of them were basically the same concept. And he he nails what he does. You right. know, he he's good at what he does. I hate to say it, he's kind of a one trick pony in a sense, but mm-hmm. he's good at what he does, so he hones in on it. That's not right. a bad that's not a bad thing by any means. Right. Um, but now that I'm hearing some things like this, maybe he isn't so much of a one trick pony. Yeah. You know, uh, it's just, you know, you, you hear somebody like him, it's like, you know, Weird Al, like it would be like Weird Al making a like, you know, heartfelt song. He doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of how Lil Dicky is. He makes funny songs, you know, maybe not so much parodies, but funny songs. And mm-hmm. this was not funny. No. This was heart wrenching. This was sad. This was. Watching a man still being destroyed by something that he has to live with while making this fucking song because that's what put him in this position. Yeah. Still making the song. It's it's that whole idea of like, you know, life imitates art and art imitates life. Mm-hmm. Like it's just it's it's so brutal in that aspect. I mean, like, you know, even like uh us listening to Whit Lowry and him, you know, having to get the stuff out that he did. My yeah. God, like I mean, and F like him doing the stuff that he's right. doing. Like I kind of wondered if we were gonna go that route, but I almost I kind of feel like this is little Dickie's version of like if you want love. Mm-hmm. Like it's like it's it's like kind of a spin on that. Like it's it's just interesting that he was able to hone into that because not like he took it from from NF, but it's like, no, like this is almost like if I could identify it as something like that's kind of what this really seems like to me. And I can tell you right now, I'm going to listen to this on repeat. Me too. This, is, this good. is a really good one. So guys, dude, thank you for the request. Yes. We you. both really enjoyed this. So if you liked what you saw, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe. That way you never miss an upload and watch us two idiots react to stuff. Comment down below if you want to see more by Lil Dicky. We'll get to it as soon as we can, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Adios.